question a lot. Laura, how in the world can I be a Beachbody coach if I'm pregnant? How can I build my business? How can I move my business forward? How can I be a product of the product if I am pregnant? Let me tell you something. I'm pregnant. I'm very pregnant, okay? And I love it because I am a silver linings kind of girl and I feel like with this opportunity, yes, opportunity, that we need to leverage that and identify that there is a strength and an empowerment that comes with being pregnant and leading other women to live healthy and fit pregnancies because there's so many people out there who don't even think about their health until they're carrying a child of their own. And so let's think of it as an advantage, truly, that we have the blessing to have a child growing inside of us and that we can still move our business forward with self-discipline and focused. So here are my tips. I have seven tips that will help you move your business forward while pregnant. So the first tip is to announce, obviously, that you're pregnant in your time, when you're ready, but along with that, maybe a couple of days later or along with it, you need to announce that you are determined to have a healthy pregnancy. Go ahead and lay out that accountability because a lot of times, I don't know whether this is your first pregnancy, your second, your fifth, your hundredth, but we shouldn't use pregnancy as an excuse to let ourselves go. I don't know what you've done in the past, but there is such thing as a healthy, fit pregnancy. So you need to go ahead and decide that you are going to do that. You also need to talk to your doctor. That's number two. Um, talk to your doctor about what your physical limitations are. Perhaps you have had um, high risk before or physically you're not able to squat with sciatic nerve or blah, 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 all these things, you need to talk to your doctor to clear the fact that you are looking to still be active and remain exercising to the same conditions that you have been exercising in the past. If you've not been exercising previously, but you start to now, that's okay. You could start slow. You don't overdo it. Also talk to your doctor about Shakeology. Sometimes they're not familiar with Shakeology. Personally, I brought the bag of Shakeology, Shakeology to my doctor, showed him the ingredients, explained to him why I would prefer this natural supplement for my dense nutrition over prenatal vitamins, and they approved it. They thought that was excellent. They're proud of me for even considering the fact of reading labels and ingredients. So I actually drink Shakeology instead of taking prenatal vitamins every day. Thank you. No more horse pills. So that's a huge opportunity for me to establish that platform and say, Prenatal vitamins equal my Shakeology. That's huge. The third thing is that you need to post progress pictures and videos and um, examples of you working out, of you staying fit, of you making healthy choices. This is not the time to hide. Now, I know your body will be changing. I know you won't feel as beautiful and stunning and you might not be glowing like everyone else on TV is when they're pregnant. Your body goes through a lot, I know. So you might not feel like posting more selfies, but do because people enjoy watching your journey. And so just be transparent. This is not the time to hide. I think that there is a time and a place to motivate people. And for those other women who have growing bellies, they would love to see you as an example of remaining healthy. The fourth thing is that you need to listen to your body. Just because we want to remain fit or we want to have a healthy pregnancy doesn't mean that we need to overdo it. Jumping, a lot of cardio, a lot of core exercises. Guys, limit yourself to what you need. You know your own body, but don't use that as an excuse to not even work out or to just put your feet up and think, well, I need rest today. It's okay to be active. Go on a walk. Do some extra static exercises. Do some arm workouts. You can work out and be healthy and stay active while being pregnant without a lot of energy at all. I am pregnant. I have a two-year-old running around. There's a lot of activity happening in my house on top of my workouts that I do. So you can do it, and if it's important to you, you're going to make it a priority. So listen to your body. Don't overdo it. But don't use pregnancy as an excuse to not work out at all because you know those muscles are there, especially underneath the layers that are growing on top of your body. But they are there and it's going to help you bounce back faster. The fifth thing is that you need to keep doing what you're doing as far as connecting with new people, building new relationships, and really 
what I've experienced so far is that in establishing these new conversations with old friends, it's fun because they can say, oh, congratulations on your pregnancy. Oh, you're so, your belly is growing. Oh. So it's a way that I can connect with people because they're following me on Facebook. So they know my journey and it's an exciting time in my life. And then I can even relate to them, ask about their children, ask about their journey, ask about what their goals are. So it's a great segue into conversations. Keep doing what you're doing. Now, if you're a brand new coach and you've not been building this business before, you don't really know um, if you've mastered the three vital behaviors of you know talking to people and helping them establish what's going to help them if they want to join a challenge group, if they want to join this business opportunity, you can do that. Just because you're pregnant, it does not hold you back. It is an advantage, in my opinion, because this is a season of my business, and I want to consider this an advantage, an ad opportunity for me to say, I'm not always going to be pregnant, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to as many people as I can about having a fit, healthy pregnancy, because when they're pregnant, I want them to think of me and think, Laura did it, I can do it too, let me ask her advice. So be that example, lead by example. The sixth thing, and this is huge, ladies, I get it. We get tired. Fatigue is a real struggle. Um, first trimester and third trimester is craziness. But you know what is easier? I say easier. You know what is possible without physical limitations? Nutrition. We have got to eat right. So clean out your nasty kitchen. Take away the sugars. Take away the cravings. Take away the temptations because now, what you put in your body is not only affecting you, but it's affecting the sweet little heartbeat inside of you. And also, that's another way to be a product of the product and lead by example. So, eat healthy. Share your meal plan. Share what you chose over this craving that you had with this. Drink more water. Share that. So, share your nutrition and maybe that would help you focus on strengthening that area of your self-discipline. So even post baby, that would already become a habit that you would have that you can continue. So nutrition is a huge opportunity. If you can't work out as much as you would like, you still are able to add value to people and inspire them by what you eat. So stay focused. Don't give in, okay? Healthy, healthy, healthy. Um, everything in moderation, but nutrition is a really big opportunity for you to say, look, I'm pregnant and I fought this craving, this sweet tooth, because I know it's better for me and my baby. Um, and the seventh thing, to prepare yourself for post-pregnancy. Because I have had a baby before, I know what it feels like right after you have the baby. You feel like a zombie. <laughs> you're up all night. You're trying to establish a new, t a new routine. You're trying to heal from craziness. But in your mind and in your business, if you prepare to remain consistent, even after you deliver the baby, your business can still thrive. It doesn't mean you have to plateau. It doesn't mean that you have to disconnect. Nobody's forgotten about you, but it's okay for you to still be open and transparent and excited on social media. So be prepared to sleep less. Be prepared to be more exhausted. Think about ways that you can still inspire people, share your journey, and still um, build those relationships to help your business move forward even in the weeks following your baby's birth. Um, it's definitely possible, it is hard, but you know what? Nothing worth having is coming easy. And so go ahead and think in your mind, I am strong enough, I can do this, I am preparing, I have a list in place, we have systems established, my team knows what to do, I know what to do, my husband's gonna be supportive, my other children are gonna be supportive because you have a dream to reach. You have a dream to fulfill and just because we're having babies does not mean it has to be put on hold. If anything, that should catapult us forward to push even harder for the dreams and the free life that we wanna live. So those are my seven tips on how you can build a really solid foundation for your Beachbody business, even while pregnant from day one to week 40. So I hope that helped and share it with other people if you feel like it would benefit them. Bye guys.